when it doesn't rain, there's less water and you need it more. There's more demand on it. So I wouldn't irrigate if we rained. I don't do it for fun. I do it because I have to. When you work on a farm in the summer, you expect heat. We strategize, but uh, you know, and some, sometimes you just got to you just got to go out there, so you just got to get it done. But you can't count on an exact amount of rain, and David Hawkinson's gotten used to working with and around different waves of weather. We visited Jubilee Farm last summer for floods after a rainy spring. We got an inch of rain yesterday. This season, a much different story, with days in the 90s scorching plants just starting to grow in May. On Mother's Day, we spent eight hours getting uh, irrigation out and, uh, and getting water on everything, and Fingers crossed it all worked and we saved, you know, a lot of different things that were starting to really dry out on those days. The weather calling for this extra watering also has the state advising water providers and users to keep close watch. Ecology says the warmest May on record melted snow more quickly and what surged into rivers is now spent. It projects most stream flows are below 75% of normal and says between late April and most of June, the state got only 47% of its normal rainfall. Hawkinson says he's hopeful more infrastructure will be put into place for years like this. I think it would be a good idea to store that water um, in the mountains where, uh, where we could release it into the ecosystem in the summer to kind of meet the demands of people, flora, fauna that uh, have kind of evolved for that, that level of water. Now, this is just an advisory, not an order or declaration, but people are, as always, encouraged to conserve water wherever possible. Live in Seattle, Erica Zucco, King 5 News.